Jó reggelt, uh, jó reggelt mindenkinek, és üdvözöllek a YouTube csatornámon. Uh, végül vagyok Budapesten, uh, az, az az egyik uh, legszebb városa Európának, uh, és uh, most hallhattak, hogy mennyire rosszul uh, beszélek magyarul. Uh, akkor kisfiú voltam, mentem siafakra nagymamámmal, uh, nyárszabadságon, uh, és uh, két hét alatt uh, ott egy picit magyarul megtanultam. Uh, most Pécsben lakom, uh, gyakran járok Magyarországon, uh, és nem csak Magyarországon, de uh, az egész uh, Karpát-medencében uh, magyar anyanyelvű uh, kollégáim uh, és barátaim van. Uh, Véleményem szerint a magyar nyelv nagyon szép, de is nagyon nehéz, különösen nehéz a, 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 a magyar nyelvtan, azért sokat hibázom, akkor beszélek magyarul. Miért tanultam magyarul? Azért, ahogy az, a, 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 Sá, a Márai Sándornak, vagy Kertész Imrének, vagy Arany Jánosnak az anyanyelve, és a, a magyar irodalmat az eredeti nyelven a, olvasni kértem. Uh, még uh, nem tudok olvasni uh, ezek a könyveket magyarul, uh, hát uh, uh, bár uh, uh, megtanulni próbálok. Uh, köszönöm uh, mindenkinek, nagyon köszönöm uh, a látogatást uh, itt a YouTube csatornámon, uh, és uh, viszont látásra itt, uh, vagy az én Facebook oldalamon. Sziasztok! Um, Hello everybody. Uh, good morning from Budapest, from Hungary. I'm on my balcony trying not to fall down. It's it's, it's the fifth floor um, in 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 Dobutza, uh, uh, street, smack in the heart of the historic Terezváros district of Budapest. So it's kind of hard not to call um, any of, of Budapest district historic uh, Budapest, uh, as it's called in Hungarian, uh, is is uh, probably the most beautiful and uh, definitely Oleg uh, the most romantic city in Europe, so forget Paris, uh, Paris or Prague or Rome, come to Budapest. Um, but uh, this little video is not just about the city, it's also about the language that's spoken here, called Hungarian. Um, Hungarian being spoken by some 14 million people, uh, not just in Hungary, uh, but throughout what is called in Hungarian uh, the Karpat Medence, uh, the, the Carpathian Basin, or, or uh, also in English referred to as the Pannonian Plain, which basically includes Hungary, Transylvania, and Seke, uh, both parts of today's Romania, um, uh, Vojvodina, parts of Slavonia, so parts of Serbia and Croatia, uh, certain parts of Slovenia where it's spoken in Pregmurje, uh, in, in Lendva, and, and the parts of eastern uh, eastern uh, Austria as well as southern Slovakia. So basically there's a huge area surrounding Hungary uh, in which Hungarian is spoken and, and it's a pretty useful language if you're going to be traveling around Central Europe. The, the cool part about Hungarian is uh, basically it's not an Indo-European language so it doesn't work uh, the way you're used from say English or German or Latin uh, or, or uh, any of the Slavic languages. Uh, it has uh, a grammar that is very much agglutinative uh, that adds a lot of uh, a lot of endings to the words as the word changes according to its function uh, in uh, in in um, in the sentence. Now I know the linguists are probably going to hate me for using this description, but I think it's the easiest way uh, to describe to describe the complexity of Hungarian. Okay, there's a garbage truck coming. I hope you can still hear me. It's a pretty loud street, even though it's a Sunday morning. Um, Hungarian adds a lot of endings on on, uh, on, on, on the words and, and that's what makes its grammar uh, pretty pretty complicated and it's actually renowned uh, for being very difficult. A friend of mine has a t-shirt that says, I speak Hungarian, what is your superpower? Um, in many ways, in many ways, the 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 the, the, the other uh, the other uh, beauty of Hungarian, however, and then the essence of its of its beauty for me, why I actually wanted to learn it and to be able to read it, especially especially because it's the language of of, of a very rich literature, is the fact that it's not a Slavic language, it's not a, a Italic language, it's not a Germanic language, although it is surrounded by all of these languages, and its closest relatives are are, are very very far away. Uh, all the way in Siberia, they're called the Hanti and Mansi languages. I'll probably make a video about them one day as well. Um, spoken by just a few thousand people uh, all the way out in Siberia. And then although they have kept a lot of, of, of uh, fairly striking similarities uh, to today's Hungarian. Um, if you want to learn Hungarian, uh, a good tip, well apart from coming to Budapest obviously, uh, or any of the other beautiful parts of Hungary, a good tip would be to check out the um, Hungarian learners community at DECCC. The URL is in the description of this video. 
uh, uh, that's, that's basically a huge, uh, a huge dictionary collection uh, that you may use in your attempts to learn Hungarian. If you do speak Hungarian, if you're learning Hungarian, if you want to help me improve my Hungarian, uh, then please do get in touch. Köszönöm uh, szépen, a very nice, uh, a big thank to all of you, a Svisztant Látosra, and see you soon, uh, either here or on my Facebook channel. Bye-bye.